Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Flash in a Pan, the only cooking show out there that brings magic from the pan straight to your dishes at home. My name is Amir Mausumiyan. Welcome to the show. Today, we're going to learn how to make aubergine melt. It's incredibly simple, but extremely delicious at the same time. So, let's get started. <laughs> start with some onions as always. Gonna pick them up. Just gonna use one. That's normally how many you'd want for this recipe. Around this size, around the size of a small apple or a small onion. Just cut both sides. Just add all. Cut away. This is actually, I would say, the favorite, my favorite dish that I've cooked so far. It's kind of like if you've ever had a plate of something and you, you say to yourself, wow, I wish I could eat the plate along with everything else. Um, this is basically it with the aubergines acting like this kind of disc where there's going to be mints and cheese on top. It sounds fantastic and it even tastes even better. So we're going to chop some onions like so. Need to get them nice and diced up. You don't want them too chunky. On the sides as well, nice and diced up. And we have some lamb mince today. I normally go for beef, but we said, why not spice things up? All right, now that that's done, we need to crush some garlic. So let's get about two cloves, should be all right. One and two. So, okie dokie, from the side we take here. Mm -hmm. Really quick tip, if you ever need to ward off any bugs, um, you live in a place with loads of mosquitoes, garlic and onions are a pretty good thing to eat because it seeps through your skin and it repels all other insects. Gonna get some garlic crushes. I'm not sure, garlic presses, garlic something. Put them through. Crack. Ah, fantastic. Always remember the back of the knife. Bring that through. Voila. Number two. Goes through, it's kind of like loading up a cannon on eating out. Oh, fantastic. It's a hugely satisfying activity. Right, next up, we want some green peppers. Get the greenest of the green, put them down. Just need to go down the middle. These are my, these are the easiest things to cut open as opposed to any kind of garlic or onion. We again need to dice them up to pretty, pretty small, pretty small, about that big, a little bit smaller than that, if, even if you can, just for ease. Mm, great colors, great colors. I'd say definitely green onions, probably, ah, oh, excuse me, green peppers, definitely my favorite of the peppers. Um, definitely yellow, my least. I don't think uh, people normally use it for flavor anyway. And uh, you'd want them about this size, roughly, because um, it's gonna go in with the mints and the chunkier they are, the more, the less pleasing it looks, to be honest. And um, it gives the mints a nice flavor. Right, so we have all this, we're about to bash them all into the pan, or flash them all into the pan, as they say. And always remember, use the back of the knife to pour through. Phenomenal. Gonna add some oil very generously. Just give it a huge drizzle. Beautiful. We go right back, front right. And we have fire, flame off. Right, just gonna get some mints. We have about 
this this is far too much for this particular recipe but it depends on how many people you're cooking for unfortunately i am all alone so i'm going to be using about half of this for myself that's how much i usually eat so go ahead and listen to how the things are going is it sizzling is it giving you that right sound and just going to grab a ladle just rummage through fantastic just going to add some salt with my salt shaker fantastic again it's just salt to taste it depends how you like it. i don't like it too salty you can see there's some browning of the uh, of the onion happening right there ah phenomenal onion and garlic honestly you can't beat it right once it's nice and sizzling what you'd want to do is grab about half of the mince here and just chuck it through Just stir it through. Um, I would also recommend adding a little bit of turmeric. All right, guys, just gonna add a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of garam masala to get that extra spices and flavors and also colors going on. So just a little dab, that's all. That's all that's needed. A little bit of garam masala, just a little bit, not too much. And just mix that up. Smells amazing, look at this. Ah, brilliant. Right guys, once it's all going pretty well and you're happy with how it looks, you just reduce the heat and just let that simmer, let it go. Once that's simmering again, you get to your next main ingredient, which is the aubergine. Now it's called an aubergine because it has a pair of jeans on and we need to strip away those jeans. So let's head up, grab a bigger knife than this. There we go. Just chop the head off and make one layer down the middle, just like that. Make sure it's pretty thin, just about like that. Should be all right. And just one more. And voila, fantastico. Right guys, once you have these two, all you wanna do is add Add a generous amount of oil to your wok. Voila. And as always, get that moving with the heat. And what you're gonna want to do is just quickly make a few slices downwards. And with this one as well, a few slices downwards. Fantastic. Right, one goes here, the other goes there. Brilliant. Right. The mince seems to be in need of a little bit of cutter, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of tomato paste. Just a little bit. It should be about, roughly about, Half a teaspoon should be okay. Cool. And just give it a little bit of stir. Should add a lot more color and give it that nice tomato feel. The aubergines are starting to fry up pretty good. Right, and now while you're waiting for that to happen, get yourself some cheese. And I am a little bit of a cheese fiend and um, I like quite good cheese, but I like cheese that's even better. Or as some people would say, gouda. Ha, <laughs> amazing. And what I'd like to do is just give it this kind of uh, strip formation. You'll see why very soon. Just make kind of four strips using those slices down the middle. There we go. So we have about eight slices here. Keep stirring, keep going. 
Ah, there we go. Our orbiting seems to be coming along quite nicely. So what we're going to do now, we're going to lift up some of the mints and just pour it all on top of the actual aubergine. Next up, just add the strips of cheese just along the side to give it kind of like a zebra crossing kind of effect. Right guys, once the aubergine is cooked sufficiently, we want it to look something like this with the aubergine acting like a plate and the mince and everything being the main course with the cheese, of course. Right, now let's transfer that onto a plate. Put that through. Just gonna push this through. Very gentle, not to crush anything out. Voila. Gonna add some chili flakes as well to the final piece, there we go. And there you have it, the Three Musketeers, Three Aubergine Nuts.